did you end up getting the place back then? We did, uh, but uh, it wasn't that good. <laughs> You're missing your partner. It must be tough. Yes, yes. But no, we didn't, like they needed to go shoot, so we didn't like we played a little bit, mm. not for real. But so it was a uh, we had fun. How did, go ahead. how did the scrimmage go today? How would you evaluate what you saw? How it felt? It was good. I mean, uh, I think the good thing is guys are in shape. We were making shots. Uh, we were doing the, what we supposed to do. Uh, so, supposed to do defensively. Okay, okay, we, we made a couple mistakes, but I think overall, overall it was a good practice. Kind of a simplistic question. What are some of the things that you learned from the game have done this summer to try to come back a better play? I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm doing this. My, I have a routine, what I'm doing the last five years. Things is, it's working, so I didn't change anything. I was just uh, doing what I usually do. What did you learn about the younger guys on the team that you just got to know, Julian, Jalen, and Hunter? Mm, they're good, you know, they're, 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 they're learning, they're, they want to learn. Uh, I think they're coachable uh, and they, they have some talent, you know, so I think that I think they can make an impact. Do they seem older or more seasoned than most rookies to you, just being older players? Or do they seem like typical NBA rookies? Uh, maybe a little bit, maybe not mature, but uh, like... Like they know something. It's not like they don't know anything, you know. I saw an interview with Jeff Obradovich over the summer, who said that you watched his seminar. Is that something? Do you watch a lot of basketball seminars? Is it something with him specifically that you are curious about? So, are you? I don't watch a lot, but I like I like to 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 look it up. I was I was watching him, and uh, I watched a couple other a couple other other coaches. Uh, Halim Pijevic, the guy who, I don't know, do you know him? He's now coaching Bashik Tash. I watch Kokoshko, who is uh, yeah. in Atlanta now, I yeah. think, assistant. So I watch I watch couple, 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 uh, just to see. I, I, think, I think if you want to be good, you need to be fanatic in basketball. That needs to be your life. And, uh, and I kind of like, like to see something different. Why not? What, what kind of things are different about it? Is it, is it like actual X's and O's? No, just, just, just the details probably, you know, just the little things it, like you you look something that you want to kind of steal, you know, so that's... How much do you take away, in your game even now, like how much do you take away from that? Or is it just more like it's what you have inside you already? I mean, I, I never try to do any. I'm just trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to play the game um, I think the right way, so that's 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 what I'm trying to do. When somebody like Aaron goes all the way to Serbia to see you, what do you hope to show him about not only your life over there but your culture and as a host? No, I think that I just want to show him my life. You know, uh, the things that I like to do, that the places that I like to visit, not visit, where I want to go. Uh, probably my family, my, my the things that I do, courses, whatever. So just uh, just to show him my life in two three days as much as possible. I know you joked that you said, uh, it's, you know, he saw that it's, you live a boring life, but I don't know if you know here, when people saw videos of you dancing this summer, people loved it. They called it the summer of Jokic, and they said, look, he's celebrating living his best life. I mean, uh, it didn't seem like Serbia is a very boring place. It looks like, looks pretty fun. I mean, some, usually, you, know, like, you can go out a little bit, but, you know, <laughs> people are, I think, bored, same as, like, they, have, they, they live bored life, so they want to record people a little bit more of, I'm going to say famous, so they want to, I don't know why the people are doing that, so I think it's stupid, but uh, you're not supposed to see that, if you ask me. <laughs> what, um, is there anything specifically that you can share about your routine that you do? <laughs> the, the, that kind of made you take a leap, like you said, you've done it the last five years and it seems to work. Uh, dedication and no shortcuts. Uh, and no excuses. KCP said that he wanted to go to Serbia as well. He had his baby girl, so he couldn't come over. But would you welcome other teammates going? I think, to be honest, they're gonna come next year. Like they're gonna come. Like and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> so would you be open to like a preseason game in Serbia? Like, would you like it for the Serbian fans to see you guys play over there? Maybe I think, Belgrade? I think that would be great. I mean, uh, I think that there is a lot of Nuggets fans in in in, 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 in Serbia and uh, people who love basketball. I think it will gonna be a good uh, show.
Have so, you ever stopped and thought about where you're headed, the trajectory you might be headed on, you know, historically, just your place in this game of basketball? You can't think about that. Uh, like, it's, it's just things that happen around you, you know. Um, I don't even, I don't think about that. How has uh, Dreamcatcher Stables evolved? What was new about this year with, with your stables? We grow. We grow. Uh, I have a, uh, I bought a couple of horses this summer. Uh, my horses in France are racing good. Like everybody, my horses everywhere. I have in France, Italy, uh, Serbia. They all winning races, so I'm happy. Do you have? They do need. They do need to be uh, win races. Yeah. <laughs> That's my hobby. Like. I just wish them they're healthy and then they run good. They don't need to win. Do you have a vision for that? Is it like you have a plan for the next 10 years you're stable? Yep. Or you do. What can you share about that vision? When I finish my career, I'm going to do that. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a lot of horses. Was this your most successful summer with that? With horses? Yeah. Uh, probably yes, because I have a lot. So I, I bought a couple more and then it's like a, the quantity of the horses and like they were winning races. So it was... Yes, is it, global. Is it like first place finishes is the, the measurement of success? I know you said, hey, just being healthy after the race for sure. But. Yeah, I, no, that, that doesn't mean no. I think for me, it's not for me. It's not uh, first place for me. It's uh, just uh, they need to be good and race good. You know, uh, races as a basketball is a live thing. You never know what's going to happen. But uh, they just want I just want to be they feel good. You know. I just planned so while you were stretching, were you watching horse racing on your Yes, yes, yes. The, today was uh, racing in a um, red mile in uh, Kentucky, not Kentucky, yeah, Kentucky, Lexington, yeah. Is it hard to keep track of it all? I it is, to be honest, it is, uh, but uh, I love it. It's my passion and uh, puts me outside of this uh, thing. Hey, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> I, know you, you, I know you like the horses with the, with the, the carriages, but do you go to the Kentucky Derby? Like, is that? No, I never do. To be honest, I, 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 I want to go as a to see the, the see, to see the show. Yeah. But I don't have really like a, I don't want to see the horses. But I, I just want to, maybe just to see the show. Dress up nice, you know. Would you even dress up with a big hat? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a bucket listing? Nah. No. Campbelltonian it is. But, Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Thank you. Guys, pleasure like always.